So exercise 2C3 is nothing new. It is exactly what I asked you to do on Tuesday, which is 2C2. It is just further opportunity to practice and get faster at the simplex algorithm. Okay, so you're going to do a different context. What was our context last time? Some buff guy <laughs> trying to get his uh, nutrition here. Now we've got a buff cat getting their nutrition. So just a reminder, these are the simplex algorithm steps. You've already got this if you bothered to get it down. Step one, decide the two variables. Step two, decide the objective. Step three, draw your constraints. Step four, sketch the simplex and color it in and label everything. Step five, make this little table. And then step six, find the optimal solution from the table and state the answer in sentence form. So our example was a cat. Is it really that important that it's a cat? Is the at least important? Is the 225 important? Units of carbs is important. Units of proteins, 80 and 90 units of fats. Is there anything in that sentence that says at most? So all of these are at least. Keep that in mind. So at least would be what? Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to? Greater than or equal to. Keep that in your mind. Cat food tin A has 25 units of carbs, 10 units of proteins, 15 units of fats. Cat food tin B has 50 carbs, 10 proteins, 9 fats. Tin A costs 6. Tin B costs 3. Find the cheapest combo of tins A and B to get the nutrients. Discuss the content of the cat's diet for the optimal combination. So with these steps... What should I make my X and Y? What are the two things that I'm finding the number of to optimize? Yes? No. I know what the price is. What do you mean of it? How many? Is that what you're after? Yeah, yeah. So let X equal number of tin A. So follow along as close as you can. Shh, don't talk. No one's here to listen to you. Of tin B would be your Y. That is step one done. I decided what X and Y were. Step two, decide on the objective function. In the question, what am I trying to do? It doesn't clearly say that I'm minimizing something, but what is the word here that suggests that I'm minimizing? Cheapest. Cheapest. Highlight that too if you want to. Minimizing cost. So what my objective function is going to be, obj function, will be, how much does tin A cost? 6x plus, how much does tin B cost? 3y. That is my objective function. I don't know what it equals because I don't know what the cost is. It's not a constraint. It's what I'm trying to minimise. Step three, construct the constraints. Write them in general form. Table is recommended. Now, if you wanted to, because some of you may be capable of that, if you're big brain, you could just go, you could look at this and be like, it's already sort of in a table. It's all vertically on top of each other. So this is actually 25x plus 50y is, what did, what did you say at least was? Yeah, but what what uh, inequality was it? Greater than or less than? Greater than or equal to 225. You could do it this way, so you don't have to draw a table. You're not going to get marked down. Um, although most of the questions in your test will be fill in the table. Okay? Here, what would the constraint be for proteins? Good. 10x plus 10y is greater than or equal to. What's the protein constraint? 90 or 80? 80. 80. And then the fats constraint, 15x plus, say it louder, 15x plus, for the fats, 9y is greater than or equal to, now you can say, 90. If you really wanted to do it the table way, I'll do that as well. So vars, what are the variables, x and y? What are the constraints, carbs? Proteins, fats, 
So I'm actually doing this on purpose to waste some time to show you that it is possible to do this quickly. What is the carbs in cat food tin A? 25, 50. What's the constraint? 225 at least. Proteins 10x, 10y, at least 80. Fats 15x, 9y, at least 90. So draw next to your table constraints. What are they? Carbs is going to be 25x plus 50y greater than or equal to 225. Proteins, what's that? 10x plus 10y greater than or equal to 80. And fats, 15x plus 9y greater than or equal to 90. What was the next step that you did on Tuesday? What am I supposed to do now? Huh? Graph it. So do you have a way of drawing a line when it's in general form? What did I do to draw these lines in general form? I'm asking you. You tell me. I taught it to you. What? How? Huh? Good. Is when the opposite variable is equal to zero. Good. So let's do carbs. Carbs. 25x plus 50 nothing equals 225. 25x is equal to 225. How many 25s in 225? I think it's 9, but can you check? 4 25s and 100. There's 200s there, so 8 plus another. I think it's 9. Um, 25 zeros plus 50y equals 225. 50y is equal to 225. Y is going to be what? 4.5? 4.5? So I can draw the carbs constraint now. X is 9, Y is equal to 4.5. X is 9, Y is equal to 4.5. I'll draw my straight line here so I can... And label that. That is 25X plus 50Y is equal to 225. Someone call out the maths for the protein constraint to draw it. What would I make y equal to? Zero equals 80. 10x is equal to 80. x is going to be 8. Pretty sure the next one's going to be the same. Plus 10y is equal to 80. 10y is equal to 80. y is equal to 8. So protein's constraint is nice to draw. It's 8 and 8. Um, how do I... Duplicate 8 and 8. Label this. 10x plus 10y is equal to 80. I've got one more line to draw, which is the fats one. All right, anyone to call out to me how, I, how do I draw this line? Fats. What's the equation for the constraint? Just looking around. You going to tell me or what? Yes. Nine lots of zero, yes. Equals 90. So 15x is equal to 90. X is going to be... How many 15s in 90? I believe it's 6. Um, and 15 nothings plus 9y is equal to 90. 9y is equal to 90. Y is going to be 10. So x6, y10. x6, y10. Label. So that is... What was the equation? 15x 15, 15 plus 9y is equal to 90, I think. Yep. What way do I color that in? What does at least mean? Do I color in up to the right or down to the left? Up to the right. So I'm going to, my region, my simplex is 
Everything above here. Because I want at least. So where are the corners of that simplex? Is this, is this one here a corner of the simplex? Yeah. You sure? Is it touching the coloured area? No, it's below. Is this a corner? No. What about this one here? That's a corner. Is that a corner of the simplex as well? Is this a corner here? Is this a corner here? Because, this, because the tins have to exist, is it realistic for me to go below the lines here? What are, some, what are the default constraints when something needs to exist? X, X must be greater than zero and Y must be greater than zero too. So you can add those as well. Um, X is greater than or equal to zero. Y is greater than or equal to zero. So label your vertices. What is the coordinates of this giant blue dot that I just did? Good. What about this corner here? Yep, seven and one. Well done. What's this corner here? Nine and zero. So you only bought tin A in that situation. This corner here, what's the coordinates? Good, so that means you only bought tin B. I'm, I'm, I don't have full marks here yet because what haven't I labelled yet? There's two things I haven't labelled. The axes, well done. So what does the x-axis represent? Number of tin A and this is number of tin B. So what have I done? I've drawn the constraints. I identified the vertices, I labelled everything, and I coloured it in. What is the next step? I draw something. It's got two columns in it. Did I call it something? Look in your steps. It was something that had two columns. Objective function table, what was in the left hand side? Vertex, objective function. What was our objective function? It was um, 6x and 3y. 6x plus 3y. What are our vertices? I'll go from left to right. 0, 10, 3, 5, 7, 1, 9, 0. So I plug those vertices into the objective function, okay? Why are we lucky that the simplex algorithm tells us that the optimal solution is at the corners? Because according to this pink here, how many different solutions are there possibly? Many, infinite. I don't have time to tell you all these solutions. Do you have time to tell me at least four and choose the best one? That's why Simplex algorithm works. So do the maths. Um, six lots of zero plus three lots of 10. That's going to be $30. The first option, I don't know if that's the best yet. Six lots of three plus three lots of five. Six times three, 18. 18 plus 15. What's that? 20, uh, 33. So that's a bit more expensive. Six lots of seven plus three lots of one. Six sevens, 42, 45. So that's more expensive. If I'm buying stuff, I want to minimize it, right? So last one, six lots of nine plus three lots of nothing equals six nines is, what's that? 54. 54. So. According to that table, which is the optimal solution? Zero, ten. Good. So you put a star next to that. Therefore, answering A, what's the optimal solution? Find the cheapest combination that provides the required unit, um, nutrients. Um, zero, tin A, ten, tin B um, is the optimal Solution, does it ask how much it costs? No, it just said find the cheapest combination. 
you could chuck in ten dollars, uh, thirty dollars there if you wanted. And then B. What did part B of the question say? So I don't have to scroll up and give you a headache. The nutrients. Yep. Do I have constraints for those nutrients? Those three. So the constraints were. Um, what was the protein one? Protein was 25 lots of 0 plus 50 lots of 10 equals 500 units of protein. Is that greater than or equal to 225? So that, that cat's getting <laughs> a lot of protein. That cat's going to be freaking small. Protein. Um, what was the next one? Oh no, I stuffed it up. That's not protein, that's carbs. The That's carbs. Sorry, that's carbs. That cat's gonna be fat, not swole. You don't want too much carbs. Carbs are energy. Let's do proteins. What was the proteins one? Was that the 15X and 9Y? Uh, that was that. Oh, so the protein's the 10. So 10 lots of nothing plus 10 lots of 10. They're gonna get 100 units of protein. Is that at least 80? But it's only 20 above 80, so they're, just, they're getting a right amount of protein. And then fats was 15 lots of nothing plus 9 lots of 10, which is going to be 90 units. So if you're, which of the nutrients is the cat only just getting enough of? The fats, okay? Whereas the other ones, they're exceeding it. The carbs exceeding a lot, so that cat's going to be sort of round, all right? I'll stop the recording there.